Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you're going to learn about finding slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look to see what is a parallel and what are, what are per parallel and perpendicular lines, just as a little recap. Parallel lines uh, look like this. They, they um, are going in the same direction, they never cross each other, and they are the same distance at every point from each other. Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, are kind of like opposite. They are going to crossing each other, and they're crossing each other at a 90 degree angle. Okay. Now, the one thing that's special about parallel lines is they have the same slope. It doesn't matter which way they're going, they will always have the same slope. And that's important for this lesson. Now, perpendicular lines, on the other hand, have a different type of slope. A lot of people think it's just going to be opposite of what the other one is, but it's not. It's called opposite reciprocal slope, and we're going to talk about it in a little bit. Right now, we're going to look at a parallel line. So we have line A and line B that are parallel, okay? They're going in the same direction. And if line A has a slope of negative 3, then line B has a slope of, that's right, negative 3, because parallel lines have the same slope. In this other example, line C and line D are parallel. Line C has a slope of 1 half, and so line D has a slope of 1 half. All right, so that's pretty easy. The parallel lines, I mean, they're always going to be the same slope no matter what. Now, perpendicular lines, on the other hand, we have this line E and line F, and line E has a slope of two thirds. Now, line F, a lot of people think it's just going to be the opposite, like negative two thirds, but it's not. It's an opposite and reciprocal. And so, since this is the first time we've seen this, I'm going to uh, teach you a little bit about reciprocal or opposite reciprocals. So, an opposite reciprocal means that the sign changes and the fraction flips. Opposite means if negative to positive, positive to negative. Reciprocal means that in the fraction, it's going to flip over. And so here are a few examples. The first one is 4 thirds. If I wanted to change this to uh, opposite and reciprocal, I would change the sign to negative, and then I would flip the fraction, and so I would get negative 3 over 4. See how we did that? We just flipped the fraction and turned it opposite. Now this next example is negative 2 over 5, so we're going to change it opposite again to a positive, and the fraction is going to flip to a 5 over 2, positive 5 over 2. Now they're kind of easy when we have fractions. So we're going to look at a couple others that are kind of interesting. Now 1 over 6, if we were to make that opposite, it would be negative, of course. But if we were to flip the fraction, it comes over to 6 over 1, which is really 6. And so the opposite reciprocal of 1 over 6 is negative 6. OK, do you see that? It would have been 6 over 1 but that can simplify to a 6. The last example, we start with 4. Now changing the sign is easy, it's going to be negative, but a 4 is a fraction. It's 4 over 1, right? And so if we were to flip that one and change the sign, it would be negative 1 over 4. And so that is how we do the opposite reciprocal. I think those are pretty much all of the, uh, the different types, although there's one coming up that's special. So let's go back to that problem we just had. We had line E and F, and line E was 2 thirds. And so line F, since it's perpendicular, it's going to have a slope of negative 3 over 2. All right. Let's take a look at another one we have line H and G. And line H has a slope of 1. 
And I did this one on purpose because one always tricks people. Because if we want to find the opposite reciprocal, we know it's going to be negative, but 1 over 1 flipped is the same thing. And so it's going to be negative 1. This is the only number where there's no vis visible sign of a flip. Okay, The 1 over 1 flips to the same thing. And so that is the opposite reciprocal. Now, I'm going to show you a few problems that you might come across. The first one goes like this. The slope of line A is 4 fifths. If line A is parallel to line B, what is the slope of line B? Well, it wants us to find the parallel slope, and so it's going to be the same as line A. So line B is 4 fifths. Pretty easy, right? Now this one says the slope of line A is negative 2. If line A is perpendicular to line B, what is the slope of line B? So we want to find the opposite reciprocal of negative 2. So it's going to be positive, and then that 2, which is 2 over 1, flips to a 1 half. And we get positive 1 half. All right? Now, this next one. Uh, is a little bit more difficult. The, equa the equation of line A is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 8. If line A is perpendicular to the line B, what is the slope of line B? Now, all we have to do is find the opposite reciprocal of the slope. Do you remember how to find the slope of an equation? Well, when it's in slope-intercept form, the number in front of x, the m, is our slope. So negative 3 fourths is our slope. And so we need to find the opposite reciprocal, which is going to be positive 4 over 3. Not too bad, right? Now, let's say that you had this one. The equation of line A is y equals 1 third x minus 2. If line B has an equation of y equals 3x plus 12, are the two lines perpendicular? Well, let's look at their slopes. 1 third and 3. Are those opposite reciprocal? Well, almost. They're reciprocal, but they are not opposite. So the slope has to be an opposite and reciprocal, and so it, it should have been negative 3 if we were looking for a perpendicular slope. And now this one, this is a, has a lot going on in here. If the points 3, 2, and 5, 8 lie on line A, what would be the slope of line B if the two lines were parallel? So parallel means they have the same slope, but the problem is what is the slope of that line A? We have two points. Now if you forgot how to do the slope formula, there is a lesson previously that you can watch, but right now I'm going to go through it real quick. This is the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We are going to subtract 8 minus 2. That's the second y and the first y. So we're subtracting in a backwards fashion. And then we're going to subtract 5 minus 3. And so using our slope formula, we get 8 minus 2 over 5 minus 3, which simplifies to 6 over 2 which needs to still simplify to 3. So the question asks, what would the slope of line B if the two li line B be if the two lines were parallel and it would be the same? So the slope of line B would be 3. And there you have it. You have mastered the art of finding parallel and perpendicular slopes. Well, maybe not mastered, but at least you've got yourself a head start. Now, if you need a little bit more help with this topic, I encourage you to rewatch the video and pause it um, to uh, get a little better grasp of the concept. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.